like to introduce you to the Robert E. Carroll Hand Fellowship, which is the oldest continuous hand fellowship in the United States. My mentor, Dr. Robert Carroll, thought that it would be best for people interested in hand surgery to spend an entire year in one institution so that they would be able to see follow-ups of their surgical procedures. And that he was very much in, in favor of long-term follow-up and understanding what outcomes would be. And this was way before the modern uh, emphasis on surgical outcomes. So we have that storied and rich history and tradition here at Columbia University. The goal is to make a graduate of our one-year fellowship being able to go out into the community or academic practice and become the local expert and be able to manage very complex problems. You get exposed to virtually all aspects of hand surgery. You get to spend time with each of us and pick which cases you want to do. So you're not locked into rotation with myself or Dr. Rosenwasser, or you're not able to see an interesting case that might be going on with another attending. You're able to pick any and all cases that you want to participate in. We have a great breadth of uh, surgeon experience. We all do our procedures in a different way, and so you'll get to see lots of different ways of doing things. So you're not going to be swayed to do things one way or another. Um, you'll get to sort of experience and decide for yourself what you think works best. And that always makes for a really fun learning environment for the fellow. We do it all. We do microvascular surgery. Dr. Rosenwasser and I do free flaps, rotational flaps, pedicle flaps. Dr. Strouds actually spent uh, six months or so in a traveling fellowship learning the art of microvascular surgery back in the day. We do congenital hand, pediatric hand. So all four of us have that capability. You will not have a microvascular fellowship, but you'll have the tools if you're interested to do this on your own. What stood out to me in hand surgery is the breadth of, uh, and the variety of surgery that you can do. You really can do almost any other part of orthopedics. Getting to know the attendings here really made me see how much uh, I had to learn. That made me want to dig deeper into these topics and, and into these research projects and kind of expand my own learning. Research experience is definitely vast and available uh, to you to get involved with as much or as little as you want. When I got here, I immediately, even before the fellowship started, was in a biomechanics lab working on a CMC arthroplasty project that prior fellows had been working on. There's a ton of other things for you to do here. If you like to write book chapters, if you like to do reviews, all of that is available for you. Autonomy in this program, it's very graduated. One of my first early experiences was recognizing that I have my own fellows clinic. That clinic is, is my clinic to run. They're my patients to follow up. It's my schedule to make. Through the mentorship of the surgeons here, you staff the cases with them and then you get to see your patients and do the cases with your attendings in the operating room. And that's really where you get to hammer down any of the important learning and surgical technique. I think the um, skills that I built in residency were advanced and uh, transitioned from a general orthopedic practice to something specific for the hand. Uh, hand surgery is one of those fields where things are just a little bit different. The rehab protocols are more intricate because the hand is more intricate and there are more ways to fail. Um, and so that's where fellowship really helped me. Certainly the fellowship program is not a one year fixed time frame mentorship model. It is, this is a lifetime commitment to hand surgery in particular, and then also the uh, greater Columbia family going forward. The mission trip to Haiti for me was one of the highlights of the year. It was an excellent week and I feel very fortunate that we were able to go. It was a tremendous experience to be able to um, kind of think outside the box from a, you know, in a resource challenged environment. Um, you know, and see uh, kind of the natural history of some of issues that maybe we would see earlier uh, in, you know, a Western country and there, you know, you would see something that had been going on for years and how do you deal with it differently than when you see something present a little more acutely. It was also great to be able to work with the chief residents down there who it was really a nice kind of independent experience for them and they were great to work with as well. I want to congratulate you for deciding you want to be a hand surgeon because 
Your career will be rewarding and fulfilling and satisfying. Our particular program is ideal for someone that wants to learn the gamut of hand surgery and be exposed to everything in an environment where very collegial and, and people are, are really happy to work together. So welcome.